To create turntable animation, there are a few simple steps we need to follow. First, open the object you want to work with. For example, I design a character and want to render a turntable. Next, press Shift and A or go to Add menu at the top. Then select Empty and choose the first option, Plane Access. To make it bigger, press the S key. Now select all the object and select Plane Access last, so its color becomes a light orange. Press Ctrl P to parent all of this object together. You can choose Object or Object Kick Transform. Now just select the Plane Access, although you can use any other object as well. But I recommended this one. After selecting it, go to animation panel and click on record. Then on frame 1 press R for rotation, then Z for rotation around the Z axis and finally press 0. Go forward a bit, let's say to frame 50. And again press R then Z and type 360 and exit the record mode. Select frame 50 as the end frame, which is the last frame we have recorded. Now we see that we have created a turntable, but there is a small problem. When the animation ends, it has a short pause. To fix this, select both of these frames and press T, then choose Linear. To better understand, in the animation panel, we see that something is applied between these two frames as a constant. Now play the animation and we can see that we have a suitable turntable. Finally, we can go to Output Properties section and adjust the frame rate and turntable speed. For example, I set it to 24, but if you want it slower, you should choose Custom. I also added a simple light and camera, and finally I rendered the turntable. 